What's up, YouTube? Adam Grover back at you with another video. And I just got home from picking up some more parts for this budget 350. And I fell down the rabbit hole once again. I needed rockers for my heads. So I started looking at some things and I found, you know, some Harlan Sharps. A lot of Mitch Match people selling, you know, a set of eight. Some guys had new in box, all of them, you know, whatever. One fives, one sixes, three eight studs, seven sixteens, you know, all the stuff you see for sale on Marketplace when you put in small block Chevy roller rockers. So I got to thinking after seeing some of the prices and probably a bad thing that i think sometimes but maybe it's a blessing in the skies at the same time so i was finding rockers anywhere from two to three hundred dollars for used sets of like name brands valtrain is one thing i don't really want to skimp out on i want some some decent stuff in there the cam's a little crappy it's not in the best of shape but i think it's usable but i mean the cam was so cheap it's kind of like I'll take my chance on it. And if it is messed up, I got some extra lifters and things. So, I'll, you know, if worst case scenario, I'll pull the cam back out. I'll find another cam used. It's a solid roller. I'll stuff it in with similar specs. And I'll stuff it back in the engine with a different set of lifters. Because I have, it's one load that's messed up. So if it takes one lifter out, I got a replacement lifter if that makes sense. And what I paid for that stuff, like I said, I got $40 into it. So, it's worth the gamble to me to, you know, use it. So, anyway, I got to looking and I saw rockers that were two, $300. Like I said, some of them were new, never used. Some of them were used, like a set of Scorpions for 300 there were some Harlan Sharps. Some of them were Mitch ma mismatched. 150 for the mismatched sets. Stuff like that. So I was like, I'm not even going to get into the mismatched stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, if that's what you can afford. But uh, I sold some more stuff that I had around here, car parts wise. And it, you know, gave me a few extra bucks. But it got me to wondering, you know, what if I started looking for shaft mounts what if i found a set of shaft mounts cheap and as in cheap i mean like four or five hundred dollars so i started looking and uh if you guys watch my other videos you know that i have sportsman two heads the aluminum castings but sportsman two heads so i found a set of sportsman two heads with Shaft mount rockers. Now he wanted $900 for the heads with the rockers. And I usually don't ask people questions like this because I, I hate splitting stuff up. But I was curious, you know, what he'd want for just the rockers. So I asked him, I said, what would you do for just the rockers, you know? And he goes, I would do four hundred dollars. About, you know, four hundred bucks. I'll sell just the rockers. So it was exactly what I was looking for. And this gentleman was nice enough to hold them. So these are Yellow Terra Platinum Race rockers. One five one sixes. These rockers are nine hundred and forty eight dollars brand new and I got them for four hundred dollars so I saved five hundred and forty eight dollars buying these used now the rollers and stuff look like they're in good shape they roll good you know they got your normal wear and tear but uh as long as the bearings ain't wiped out of them or nothing like that, which they all seem to, you know, be pretty decent. They, these should work pretty good. 
So for 400 bucks, compared to a pair of Scorpions that are, you know, stud mount for $300, and then I need girdles that are $100 anyway, because I like girdles on my stuff, where these don't require girdles, obviously. For me, this was one of those deals where it's like I'm going to have the same price into a pair of used rocker arms that aren't as strong, and a set of girdles. Now, this is a stock bottom N350. But, when you list that an engine has this type of stuff in it. The belt drive. These rockers. You know, Yellow Terror shaft mount rockers. Things like that. You know that somebody spent the money to put good parts in it. Granted, they're not Jessel, but Yellow Terra, they're they're pretty good pretty good parts. They're decent. They're not junk. It's not like Speedmaster. The Speedmasters have a lot of problems. I mean, these things these are old. They're, it's 2001 listing is the ad on this thing. So I mean, I'm gonna assume that they're they're from about 2001. So I mean, these things are over 20 years old. And the only reason he switched them out is he obviously took the heads off and he went with a bigger head. Because his engine's pretty big. He was telling me about it. And, uh, you know, he put AFRs on it. He needed offset rockers. And he switched everything up. And these came off. So, it was almost worth it to buy the heads with the rockers if I could afford to do that. Because I could have probably sold the heads, you know, for 600 bucks, pretty easy. I could have got these basically for three. But, I mean, really, you know, $100 worth of savings. Is it worth my trouble dealing with people? Because some people are hard to deal with when it comes to selling things. So, like, I still have the one tunnel ram for sale over here. This dark gray one. And I've had a couple guys hit me up good people they're all good guys and stuff but you know i get a lot of questions about it and then nobody comes through and and buys it so it's just a little nerve-wracking even though the guys are good guys and it's cool meeting new people and talking to new people it's just if you want to talk to me then that's cool but if you want to buy something then you know let's Let's get it sold. So. But anyway. That's what I picked up tonight. Now. The budget on this. I said I'd be right around three grand probably. You know 3500 And I forgot that I bought headers for the car. Which I didn't need. But I did buy them. So we're right now we're at. $2,984 after this purchase here, which we're close to being done, but there's still probably a couple hundred dollars left that I have to spend on this to have this engine where I want it. There's a flywheel I want. Um, I counted the carburetor that I don't have yet because a friend of mine is holding it for me, uh, which hopefully I can buy soon. But, like, stupid stuff like that, like the flywheel, for instance, the aluminum flywheel, I don't necessarily need it. A lot of people are telling me not to buy it, but for me, I want an aluminum flywheel on the car. Um, push rods, gaskets, paint, things like that. Paint I don't need, but, you know, I might throw it in on the thing just because I am painting the engine. There's a couple other little tricks I want to do to the engine when it's out of the car because I am going to pull it out. The tooling, the tooling's about two or three hundred dollars to notch the pistons. I might need to do a valve job on the heads. I gotta lap the valves in and see how they lap. So there might be anywhere from probably five hundred to another grand going in this. So might end up around four thousand dollars said and done, hopefully. But uh, which sounds like a lot. But I'm going to read off what I have 
here. I made a little cheat sheet and wrote everything down of what I've spent. And then I'm going to go over what the stuff is new. So the intake, I did the deal with my buddy. I did work for him on his car. The intake was like about $500 for that sheet metal summit tunnel ram that I, I got. So say I did $500 worth of work, got the intake. So that's $500 that I have out into that. Then I traded that intake and got the silver one that I am going to use. So that gives me back 150 bucks because that was a trade and I got cash. So that puts me at 350 for an intake. The engine plate was $70. The cam and lifter was $40. Or cam and lifters, sorry, $40 for that. The headers were $472 new. And these figures are rounded up. It's really like... 471.80 but I rounded everything up to the next dollar so 472 for the headers the ignition was $648 for the distributor the crank trigger the ignition box the spark plug wires and the coil the heads I have $550 into so far. That's counting buying the heads, which was $300 or $350. And then the machine work, which was $2 or $250. I forget which how it played out, but $550 total into the heads. The timing belt drive was $354. These rockers were $400. And the carburetor that I'm going to buy is $100. I already have a $600. That's the same list number that came on the car so I'll be using that carburetor with the other carburetor that I'm buying since they are the same so I will be going through both of those carburetors and rebuilding them so that's going to be most likely new gaskets some carb cleaner and some jets that I have going through there and matching everything with the jets and power valves and things like that um and then gaskets, which I don't have yet, and I don't have prices on yet. Um, push rods. And then uh, a couple other things. Like I said, I want like the flywheel, 100 bucks for that. Um, but the stuff I have right now is we're at, minus the carburetor, we're at uh, 2884 And then if I count the carburetor and the flywheel, that would put us at 3084 and then the other stuff I want is some of the stuff's cheap, like 20 bucks, you know, 50 bucks. I got to pull the engine apart and see exactly what's in it. So that way I don't go buying stuff that is already in it because I don't know what's done to this 100%. I haven't had the short block torn down yet. I do know that it has stock pistons in it, but that doesn't mean that there's stuff not done like little tricks to the short block itself. So, I'm trying to throw every trick I can at this thing to make it do what I want it to do. So, I have a goal. A lot of people think that I can get into the tens. My goal is to be mid tens. I would like to go like a 1060 with this car. So, if you think about it, four grand into a car or into an engine rather not a car because the car's got way more money into it than that but four grand into an engine to go say 1060s on motor that's relatively cheap you know even though it is a stock bottom end deal it's not a stroke or, or nothing like that but if it puts the number down there's people with a lot more money into their setup than that going that speed or even slower unfortunately for some guys you know now i'm not saying the car is going to waltz out there and first pass out go a 1050 i actually found out i have a mini spool in it so i got to worry about that breaking that was my own fault i should have pulled the girdle off the rear checked it but i didn't and uh that was just one of those deals a buddy of mine took the word of somebody else and then i ended up with it and then i checked it and found out what's really in it but uh, it does have gear. The gear that I was told in it is in it. 456s. So 
And I got the cow tracks and things like that to help help it hook up and stuff like that. But it's I don't have the shocks. You know, there's a lot of stuff that isn't there that the car might need to do it. So I'm going to try everything I can to, to get it to go with what I have. And, you know, if I can afford to make the changes along the way, I will make them. But I, uh, I guess time will tell and we'll see exactly what it goes. There's a couple things I'd like to do, like I said in my other videos, that I'd like to take it down and show you guys what certain things pick up on the car. Which I really wanted to do with the stock rear in it. Because I wanted to show what gear did. How big of a difference that makes. And I wanted to show you guys like taking the belt off. And stupid little things like that. But Which I probably still will do the pulling the belt off and whatever. But this is where we're at as far as this goes. So we're right at, right at three grand just about so far. And, uh, you know, there I'd have probably, if I had to buy all this stuff now, I'd have at least, at least double into this. I mean, you got to figure two carburetors, if I had to buy both of them new, at least $500 a piece. You know, that's $1,000 right there. $900 difference. Luckily, I have the one already. The other one I have to buy for 100 There was also another one I found for 150 So finding the deals, you can save a lot of money. Especially if you know how to rebuild and stuff. Because a rebuild kit is like $80 maybe. Depending which one you buy. Granted, I'll need two of them if I want to do the kits. But I think I have some here. And if it's just gaskets really and cleaning stuff up. You know, I got to see what they need exactly when I get them apart. But the one on my car is running and good, so I know it's at least usable how it sits. It's just I want to pull it apart and make sure everything matches with the jetting and stuff with the new carburetor. New to me. But uh, carburetors, you're talking, that's a $900 difference. These rockers, that's a four or $548 difference. The ignition, that was like $1,400 difference. I mean, I got 648 into it, and it was right about $2,000 when I figured that out. That's on my other video. The engine plate, that's new. The intake, you can't buy that intake that I'm using. But I do have the other one, which is, they still make new, the Edelbrock Street Ram. And that's $650 new. So if I had to buy that new, that's another $300 there. Cam and lifters. The lifters I have are... I want to say they're $800. They're solid roller link bar lifters for a small block Chevy. Um, and then a cam, a solid roller camshaft new is three or $400. So, I mean... It's a lot of money to do this stuff, and it's still budget compared to if I had to build this new. There's a lot of stuff that I went out on, and I could have saved a hundred here. I could have saved a hundred there. You know, the timing belt drive. I could have saved. Well, I could have saved three hundred and fifty-four dollars on that by just leaving what's in it in it and not caring. But I'm. Um, a guy that I like when I pull a motor apart, I want to just put like a new timing chain and gear in it. It's just something my dad taught me to do, and it's something I kind of stuck to through the years. A new timing chain and gear, and I usually do an oil pump, but this engine has good oil pressure. Like, it's actually kind of impressive. So I, I'm thinking it might have been rebuilt at one time. Or at least, you know, new bearings, rings, and an oil pump and stuff like that. Who knows, maybe it's all original crap in there. Like I said, I gotta pull it apart and look. But, uh... Once I get that apart, I'll find out what it truly is. And I'll be posting a video of that and the build of that. And showing it through the changes as I put it together. And 
maybe show you guys some of the tricks I do or am going to do to this particular engine. But, uh, so that's where we're at on this. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it now. I got the other intake for sale, which I paid money for, and I didn't write that down because I am not using it. But I will be selling that intake, and the difference of that, I will deduct from a part I buy for the car because I will be using money from that to probably fund something else. So I got it up for three fifty plus shipping. So if anybody needs a street ram for a small block Chevy, I got one. It needs one hole fixed. But, uh, it, you know, I'll figure that out when I get there if I sell it. If I don't, then it's going to stay here and I might try it to see the difference between, between the old TR1X and the street ram and see if there's any difference you know, between the two as far as performance-wise goes or with the horsepower, or with the ET change, rather, mile-per-hour-wise, all that. So, that's where we're at. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is it budget, or did I completely go down the rabbit hole and fail my budget? I wanted to be at three grand. And I'm probably going to be, like I said, $1,000 over that, which isn't terrible. You know, some guys, like I said, have a lot more into an engine and have, granted, they have better parts probably, but some of this stuff, I mean, Yellow Terror Rockers are pretty decent. So, that's where we're at. So, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. It's a rabbit hole and I fell down deeper into it. Let's see if I could sell some extra stuff like that one water pump that I traded for. Maybe I can get some money back. <laughs> sell the old stuff off the motor or whatever. and Got an intake dual plane. If anybody needs that too, I'll sell that pretty cheap. But That's after I put the tunnel ram on it. So We'll see what we can get out of what's in it. As well, you know, some of that money, because the motor came in the car. I don't know how to really count the price of that. So I guess maybe go on Marketplace and average a number out that they're going for for a 350 short block. But uh, mainly doing this for the guys that have a 350 and want to want to put it to use is what this basically is about, you know. Maybe you got a car sitting around and it's got a 350 in it and you're wondering how fast you can make it go. That's what this kind of kind of is, you know, like, hmm, maybe I could do this on a budget and have some fun and make it rip. So that's what I'm trying to help you guys with and learning as I go as well, because I've never built a small block 350 before in my life. So this will be the first time I build one of these engines. I'm a Ford guy. You know, I've done pr some pretty good stuff with the 302, stock bottom end. Went nines with nitrous, and I went 1080s on motor. So, see if this 350 can do the same thing in a little bit heavier of a car, but with all the tricks done. Because my 302 didn't have yellow terror rockers on it. I can tell you that right now. And it didn't have a tunnel ram either. But you guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Keep working on your projects and have some fun. Enjoy yourselves. I'll talk to you.